Uh, my name is Pascal Martinez. I am working for the Global Environment Facility as a senior climate change specialist. Uh, actually, it's a very, very important program and very uh, relevant and timely program. Uh, it is the biggest program ever of the Global Environment Facility uh, with more than $300 million uh, uh, of Jeff uh, Fund and uh, $2.7 billion uh, of co-financing. So it's very huge, 27 countries and so on. Um, the history is quite simple because uh, we all see that we cannot prevent deforestation. But that many commitments happened during the last 10, 20 years. And at the end of the day, we are still uh, seeing much deforestation around the world. And, and why this happened? Because of the, the need for agriculture. You know? Agriculture uh, is responsible for 70, 80% of the deforestation in tropical countries. So we wanted to really to, to, to have a, an impact program. You, you call it like this, impact program, to really have an impact on the ground uh, with a, a very big program. Uh, so we, we, the story is first the, the fact that we cannot, uh, we don't succeed to stop deforestation. We know the reason of the deforestation, so we will just focus on the drivers of this deforestation, which is agriculture production for the commodities. So this was the, the history of, uh, of, uh, of this program, which was launched today um, and which will last around six, seven years uh, in, in 27 countries. Oh, it's very simple <laughs> because it's, th th these commodities are those who, who, who cause the deforestation. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so, of course, we have the beef, palm oil, um, uh, soy, which was histo historic hist uh, commodities that has already taken into account in previous program of the GEF, but then we added other commodities like coffee, cocoa, maize, wheat, and rice, so five more. And with these eight commodities, uh, we really capture uh, the, the, the most important drivers of uh, of the deforestation. And uh, the idea is if we want to have impact, we need to focus on what, m what is the most important. You know? Because of course we can work on other uh, commodities or other pr um, agriculture production, but we, we don't want to lose uh, the, this, this impact capacity if we are trying to, to address everything at the same time. So we really uh, choose this for these uh, commodities because th 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 these are those uh, who have the most uh, uh, impact on, on, on deforestation. The GEF is uh, the financial mechanism of the Rio Conventions. No? So our mandate is to support countries to provide an, uh, environmental benefits along these conventions. No? So biodiversity, climate change, but also uh, land degradation, or the Convention on Desertification. So um, in this uh, particular case, in this program, as we prevent deforestation, of course, we provide climate change benefit uh, because we, re we prevent carbon to be released in the atmosphere through the deforestation. We also provide biodiversity benefits because as we protect forest, uh, we, uh, we protect automatically biodiversity. And biodiversity, the, the forest hosts a, around 80% of the terrestrial biodiversity. So if you, you protect primary forest uh, in the world, of course you protect biodiversity. And then this program also uh, uh, includes a very important component on the restoration. Restoration of forest, restoration of agriculture. So this is the, the third uh, convention of Rio on desertification. And, and the, why the restoration? Because if you promote restoration, um, not only you will help producers to produce better uh, and, and more, but you will also provide environmental benefits, such as you keep the water uh, in the ground, you, you also have more carbon in the soil, so you have more fertility of the soils. So if you promote the restoration, you have also this Im impact on the, on the environment, which is significant. So in this program, we really uh, address the three Rio conventions 
at the same time. It can be seen as quite important uh, resources. And actually it is. Uh, it's really important because you, you, you think it's very difficult to compare with other initiatives like this with such, such resources, but it's not enough, sure. Um, we cannot pretend to change the, how the world is running with, in terms of deforestation with, with, with this, this amount only. But what is very interesting and innovative in this program, I think, that I should highlight is the fact that this program has been built in a way to create the most possible impact. Why? And why it is innovative? Because normally, when you consider a project to improve the, the agriculture uh, or to, to try to prevent deforestation, protect the forest, usually you look at the ground. You work at the landscape level. No. And what was very new, this program, is to not only to look at the landscape, as we you used, to, you used to, we do, to do, but to look at all the value chain. Because what influence what happens in the ground comes well beyond the ground, beyond the country, very far. Sometimes the, market, the import market in Europe or in the USA. So the idea was to put together all the stakeholders along the value chain to work so that the, the, the buyer in Europe, the, 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 the trader uh, in the US can relate with the, the, the origin of the production and then uh, provide incentives to produce uh, better in the ground. So yes, this amount is not enough, but it's very promising in terms of its capacity then to to have uh, influence much beyond the program. And for that, we have created a global platform. So the following program is 27 countries all around the world that produce communities. But to coordinate the action and promote the exchange of uh, knowledge and good practices, we have this big uh, platform, global platform, which is included in this, in the, in this impact program, which will allow then, I think, uh, promote the results beyond uh, the, the, the boundaries of this project itself. So this is why, okay, it's not enough, but we have created the conditions that we can hope to, to get more than if we were only considering these countries. And this is uh, the essence of this, what we call this impact program.